G'day guys, how are you? And welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can encrypt a column using MS SQL 2016 Developer Edition. So let's begin. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to head over to our databases. And I'll just expand that. And I've just created a database there called Database 101. And for this tutorial, I did create a table which is just called Users Details Table. And if I select everything from Users Details Table, you can see that I've got my username, which is just Andrew, and I've got my password, which is Q W E R T Y. Yep, I'm pretty sure we've all used that password at least once in our life. And if you haven't, you're probably lying. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to basically encrypt the password column. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to right click on my table that I want to encrypt the column with, and right there it says encrypt column. Okay, so once you're in there, just click on next. Now select the column that you wish to encrypt. In our case, we just want to encrypt the password column and select your encryption type. Okay, so I'm just going to choose the top one, which is uh, to Mystic. And once we've done that, you can choose a Windows certificate store or you can choose the Azure Key Vault. In our case, we just want to be local, so I'm going to choose the Windows one option and wait for this to basically encrypt the data as well as the column and future entries. So once that's done, just let me run this query again. And as you can see now, the password is completely unreadable. I have no idea even what that is. Um, I'm sure maybe you could crack it, but yeah, I'm, I've honestly got no idea. I haven't looked into that. But yeah, as you can see, it is just completely impossible to read. So what does that mean for our program? Just made a quick program that reads the details that's in the database. And as you can see, password is just a system byte. It has no idea what that is. Let's say that we actually do want to read what's in our, pass, um, our database. What we need to do is we need to add a sentence to our string, which was just column encryption settings equals true. And as you can see, I can now read the password that was inside my database. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, leave a comment, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.